Folks, this is Thrifty Gamer 83 here bringing you my review of Devil May Cry Part 1 for the PlayStation 2. And closing out my collection for Devil May Cry recently, just decided to do a smaller teaser as well as a review of the aforementioned title. To me, Devil May Cry has always been living in the shadows of Zelda. It is a darker, more mature version of Zelda with the same amounts of puzzle solving. It basically does a copy pasta on Zelda. It is not so much a Resident Evil as it was experimenting with what could be done if you wanted a Zelda title or if you did not want a Zelda title. So it was kind of stalled, even by Capcom standards. The controls are stiff, the actions kind of work. It's at this place in the middle between what would become the suck fest of Resident Evil 5, but it was it was the cancelled Resident Evil 4. And as you can see, they decided Capcom decided to keep going with it. And it's really not that competent of a game. It has platforming sections, yes, but it's also perhaps one of those titles which people say, well, this was the PlayStation 2. This was what we wanted in a game. Instead, it's an overblown action game which tries so hard to capture the essence of Zelda and yet falls so flat on its face. It's not a title that you can really recommend to friends as much as it is a game which deserves an ugly sweater award. It has not aged well with time. The controls are still just as stiff as from the first playthrough. So really, that is what happened. Rant, rave, love, hate. Click that subscribe button, folks. You're keeping me on the air. Yeah, it's a lackluster effort put forth by Capcom. Have a good one.